Well, school textbooks reveal history, of course. They, you know, give it to the kids in the classroom, but how about going beyond the textbook and really seeing the world for themselves? So that's the goal of one local group, helping students travel the globe and experience life in other countries. Here to talk about the education benefits of travel is the Director of Advancement at Speritas, Amy Littman. Nice to have you here. Thank you guys so much for having me. What an exciting day yeah. to be here <laughs> talking about uh, building cultural awareness. That's so, right, and, yeah. and, and thinking about the future. And so, so much of this is critical and the way kids see the world and a good way to do that is going beyond the textbook and traveling and understanding the world beyond just you know their borders. Absolutely. Well um, I think that for kids so when you you know when you're studying something in a classroom so even if let's say you're just studying language in a classroom you can only get so so far with that language piece and then once you go to a, another country where they're using that language it gives those kids the opportunity to to put that language into practice. But even beyond that, um, the piece that of the cultural immersion, so, you know, with Experitas, with our organization, all of the experiences we have include a homestay. And we think that that's one of the most important pieces of, of the experience, um, particularly for high school kids, uh, uh -huh. because when, you, when you're involved in that homestay, you're really immersed in the culture of the community in which you're living. So, you know, what happens is, um, you know, let's say you're a second year Spanish student and you're with a family that only speaks Spanish. All of a sudden you have an opportunity to really, um, you know, test different ways to communicate. You can't communicate the same way you do and you're in a different culture. And so you really get to respect what they're doing and learn about what they're doing. And it's really an eye-opening experience for, for the kids that travel. You talked about you're, you're really going for high school kids. We think a lot about studying abroad in college. Why yeah. do you think it's so important to hit them in that time frame of high school? Why, why that age frame? Well, in high school, and sometimes they're even a little younger. Sometimes we have eighth or, eighth or ninth grade mm -hmm. kids that travel. Um, because I think for a few reasons. One, when those kids have those experiences, I was saying, you know, when you go and stay with another family, and whether we do both language and cultural immersion experiences, but with either of them, you're staying um, with another family in that community that you build a sense of self-confidence and self-awareness that we hear from the kids themselves. So uh, part of what we do is ask the kids to reflect on their trips afterwards. So I went through all the reflections this year that the kids wrote, and really almost every single student said, um, the best part of my trip was the homestay. The mm -hmm. best part of the trip was living with another family. And sometimes they said that was the hardest part of the trip. Sure. Mm -hmm. you know, so you're, you're with somebody who's doing something completely different. It's not like your family. But they, they came out of that experience thinking, I can do this. I, I have a, a sense of um, whatever's going to happen next for me. I feel comfortable communicating with all different kinds of people. I was able to stay here on my own. You know, I didn't have my friends and my teacher here with me. And I was successful at it. And at the same time, we hear that from the parents. So the parents do an evaluation too, and that's right. one of the things they always write. I was worried about my son or daughter going to college. You know, how are they gonna do being away from home? Sometimes they've never been away from home. And now that they've gone through this homestay experience, they're a different kid. Right. They it expands change. their yes. world view. Yes. It really and does. It really is an important component to, you know, that bridge to adulthood mm -hmm. and, and to seeing the world from, you know, yes. a, a different perspective. Yeah. And it's great, of course, in learning another language as well. All right, well, uh, great ideas <laughs> for those kids. Maybe even middle school, if your yeah. kid is ready for that. Every kid's different. All right, uh, Amy Littman. Every age. Yeah, every yeah. age. I yeah. love it. Uh, this is a great experience for kids to have from Experitas, uh, the Director of Advancement. Mm -hmm. Nice to have you here. Talk about the program. Thank you. Can I just say, if people are mm -hmm. interested in getting more travel information, to definitely check out our website. We have a brand new website that's amazing that was just launched last week, and it's xperitas.org. And we have um, uh, information about all the various communities we go to, but also tips for parents, tips for teachers, what you might want to bring. So everything you need to know yeah. for travel is Some there. Some questions you may have right. still exactly. lingering. Kind of yeah. get that going. All right, no, Amy, thank, thank you, guys you so, so much. much. We appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Pleasure. Thanks for coming in this morning.